movies. We all love to go to the movies. Some of us like to call it the cinema when we go to the movies. Some of us just call it the movies. But whether you call it the movies, the cinema, or the movies, we can all agree that the cost of a ticket is a lot. We all know what they cost. Everybody knows that's common knowledge. Very expensive. So it's a stone cold bummer when a movie isn't good. Wouldn't it be great if you could tell whether or not a movie was good before you went to it? That was the germ of inspiration I came up with for my idea. What if I went to a movie, watched the movie, and then told you whether or not it was good or not? That's how I became the movie assessor, the guy who will assess whether or not a movie is good or not. I decided I was the perfect person to assess movies because I'm a real cinephile. In fact, I'm such a cinephile that I had to register with the state and I have to let people know when I move into their neighborhood. In my life, I've seen a lot of movies. I must have seen over nine movies, including The Apple Dumpling Gang. Eight if you don't include The Apple Dumpling Gang. So what I'm doing is going to the movie and telling you about parts of the movie. Like, for example, there was this one part where the lady and the man got into a fight, and that made me sad. Or there was another part in the movie where the lady and the man stopped off and had lunch, and I like lunch, so I could really relate to the character, not to the lady. I would not have had that for lunch. That kind of thing. I will also talk about how important lighting is and how the director should always turn on the lights before turning on the camera. Sometimes uh, a movie might be a little bit better than another movie or a little bit worse. How would you objectively know that one movie is better than the other? So what I came up with is I will do a thing where I will rate the movies. That way you will know if the movie is pretty good, very good, or really good. The rating system I'm going to use is 1 to 10. If I give a movie a 1, it means this was not a very good movie. If I give it a 2, that means it wasn't great. If I give it a 3, that means it's a pretty good movie. If I give it a 4, that means it's a very good movie. And if I give it a 5, it's a great movie. If I give it a 6, it's a very good movie, but it's a little much. If I give it a 7, Sure, it's a good movie, but it was a little extra. If I give it an eight, okay, it's a good movie, but it didn't have to be all up in its ass about what a good movie it thinks it is. You know what I mean? And if I give it a nine, maybe it's a good movie, but also it seems like this movie thinks it's better than me, and I don't want to go see a movie if it thinks that it's better than me. It's not. And I give it a 10. It will probably win an Oscar, but I did not like how I felt afterwards. So. No. Also, it's important to know that if the guy who takes your ticket on the way in sees me on the way out and he says, have a good one, that movie is automatically at least a two. I really like when people wish me a good one. So that's how the show will work. I will assess movies for you. Tell me if you should go see them. I'm not going to do that now. Today is just about making sure you understand how this will work. Well, I will give you a sample movie review just to give you the idea of what it's like in action. Uh, recently, I went to see The Apple Dumpling Gang. I really liked it. Tim Conway and Don Knotts are very funny. I'm not sure if it's still in the theaters, but if it is, you should go see it. Thank you for watching and you do me a favor in the comments and let me know how much it costs to go see a movie. I know earlier I made a point of saying that everybody knows how much a movie costs. And, and I think most people probably do. And I, I just don't want to seem dumb, but I'm going to need to know ahead of time how much it costs. So if you could tell me how much it costs to go see the movie, that way I will know how much money to bring with me. Um, you don't have to include uh, the cost of snacks. I already ate. So until next time, have a good one.